hello youtube family uh i'm back again with a similar video to the first one that i did regarding uh when you're over the age of 40 my previous video was if you're over the age of 50 why you should have a youtube channel so this one is for the age demographic that i am in which is um people over 40. Uh, I find that uh, there are a lot of young people who are on YouTube that is providing contact content, sorry, <laughs> I'm not going to block that out, who, are, who is providing content uh, of their daily lives and, you know, how-to videos, entertainment videos, educational videos. However, I'm finding that I'm not seeing a demographic of people within the age range of 40 and 50 years old. Uh, so I, I strongly encourage uh, that uh, people of our age demographic within 40, 50 years old, six, even 60 years old, should uh, post YouTube videos. The reason why I'm saying that is because we have a wisdom from life experiences that other people do not have. Not only that, um, there are people who are in the same age range as you, however, there are things that they do not know. And what better place to get that information from is from good old YouTube University. Um, there are a lot of things that I feel are stopping a lot of people from posting on YouTube. And I'm going to be honest with you, a lot of these things used to come up in my head. But at this point, I overcame that feeling of shyness and I'm posting a video uh issue number one a lot of people say um I'm shy I'm nervous uh I, I don't know what to say uh I'm not really good at public speaking or uh, I have to get dolled up listen I just threw on a wig <clears throat> some lipstick you see I have these dark circles under my eyes and <clears throat> I do not have any makeup on however I decided that I am just going to do a video I'm in my car in the parking lot of Aldi supermarket but the thing is you do not have to create like this big studio have all this equipment and cameras like that's not even necessary right now i'm filming on my iphone se now iphone i think they're up to iphone 15 at this point 15 or 16 i think it's 15 and i'm posting on my iphone se there's not even a number behind my iphone and basically i you know you can post on your phone you can record on your phone you do not need to spend this astronomical amount of money to purchase equipment backdrop camera you can start off with just a simple smartphone um another thing that i feel and i'm going to mention it again is that we people who are over 40 which I'm 46 years old yes I'm 46 years old and the amount of knowledge that I have now versus when I was younger is it's beyond it's beyond what I could ever imagine my life experiences have helped me to make sound decisions now and at the age that I am at 46 and you know a lot of times you know people they either have been sheltered or they they just don't know they just don't know and even though they are 46 years old they don't know how to handle certain situations and i feel being that there is a small demographic of people who are over the age of 40 that is sharing their life experiences and how they handle certain things I think that the world is your oyster. We need more people. We need more women. We need more men 
who are over 40 years old to come and just share your wealth of knowledge. Share, share, share. Uh, back when I was in my 20s, we didn't have, um, we didn't have the amount of information that's available to you on YouTube now. So I feel that people who are younger or who are in their teens or in their 20s, all this information is available to them where they will be able to make sound life decisions based off of the experiences that us 40 year olds have had um also uh people they they want to connect with real people they want to connect with people who are not creating these videos where it's like um how can i explain it it's like scripted scripted videos that are on youtube where um you know people they're all dolled up their hair is done so nicely their makeup is done nicely i mean we're living in a world where we have a lot of crap we have a lot of shit excuse my french that's going on and we need real information we real we need real people sharing their life experiences sharing what they're going through because there are a lot of people who are going through the same exact thing that you're going through so to be able to share that information and um just connect with real real people where it's not like scripted videos uh i think it it, it would be very very helpful because basically that's what people want they want the real they want the raw they don't want all this you know dolled up stuff because currently that is not their life that is not their life that is not what they are going through people want to see raw real life experiences in real time they don't want to see all this you know reality tv and you know you you understand what i'm saying so that's just mainly the reason why i decided to do this video because um yeah it's 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 very important uh one tip that i would say is that uh as you're going through whatever it is that you're going through get on the camera and share it right away as it's happening or shortly after it has happened because you know people really really want to know it doesn't matter where you are i'm in my car i said <laughs> i'm in the car of the, the parking lot of the supermarket so you can pull over you can be in your car you can be anywhere you could be in your laundry room you could be in in your parking lot you can be anywhere you could be in the parking lot of a restaurant you can be in the park you can be anywhere you can film in your car outside your car in your home wherever where it wherever it is that you feel comfortable to share exactly what is going on share it don't be shy and if you're shy let me tell you my first video as far as people over 40 uh which i'm gonna put in the description box i was so nervous and my advice was to write down and read to your audience your video and what you want to talk about and let me tell you that video was crap but what's so funny is that a lot of these bad videos is what people are drawn to that's what they're attracted to that's what they want to see they want to see the real they don't want to see the fairy tale and the fantasy and the facade they don't want to see that they want to see the real and let me tell you a lot of people out there they're nervous they don't know what to say they're um they just don't feel comfortable with showing themselves online but that's what they want to see like there are a lot of videos out there which are faceless um videos and okay yeah that's probably cool but i find that a lot of the videos which you would deem as bad many others would not deem that as a bad video but a lot of the bad videos are considered like raw real 
real people, real people that you can connect with. So uh, I'm finding that a lot of those videos are gaining a lot of traction. A lot of people are gravitating towards those videos and wanting to watch and wanting to learn and just connect with people who are just like them, human. So yeah, don't think that, oh, I'm not gonna post because Oh, this video was horrible. Don't compare yourself to other people and other influencers who have a million plus followers, a hundred thousand followers. You as a small YouTuber, yes, you may have 100 followers, 10 followers. Keep posting. Try to post every single day. The real, the raw. Have like a specific... Um, description or type of uh video for your youtube channel for example like your day in the life a day in the life of uh you could be someone that sews or someone that cooks a day in the life of a chef a day in the life of um a seamstress uh, have like a specific um what's the word and i keep saying um that's one thing I'm definitely going to have to work on because I would say to myself, oh, I don't want to get on YouTube because I'm constantly saying, um, 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 that's definitely something that I'm going to work on and stop myself from doing that. Let me get back to what I was saying before. Have a certain niche or yeah, have a certain niche for your YouTube video where when your audience is looking for that particular video, they will, you will be found within the algorithm when you have a certain niche for YouTube video. Right now, I'm still trying to find my niche. I know that the world that we're living in today, I, I just feel like laughter is medicine. So what I try to do is post a lot of shorts where it's just funny where people can laugh and I, I noticed that um, we have a love for animals we have a love for dogs and I like to post a lot of shorts having to do with things that's just gonna make you laugh things that you have a love for and we all have a love for animals and and pets and cats and dogs so that's definitely I would say my niche as far as my shorts uh but I also want to be able to talk to the people connect with the people and just share my life experiences and as I go along because my video is not yet monetized however I want you to you guys to follow me on this journey and whatever tips and tricks tricks that I may have anything that will inspire or motivate you that is exactly what I'm going to do and one last thing before I go I want to mention this young lady on YouTube her name is Doe Dash I'm going to uh put her youtube channel in the description she is definitely a motivation for me she comes on daily and she'll post motivational videos to inspire you to start your youtube channel and i am going to follow suit and do the same she is so inspiring she's amazing and right now as we speak her channel is flourishing I remember her channel was like maybe at 20 something thousand, let's say 25,000. She's now at 33,200. I mean, her channel is growing daily, daily. And I'm so ex inspired and excited. And she doesn't do anything like extremely special and and crazy and over the top. She she does you know her videos in her car most of the time and a lot of times she'll do it in her house and 
I used to always think like, oh my goodness, I have to get dolled up. I have to get dressed up. Uh, I have to have a backdrop. I have to have all this equipment. And I really don't have the money for that right now. But she is showing us that you do not need that. You don't need that to start your YouTube channel. Start now. And again, I'm going to reiterate the demographic for YouTubers over the age of 40, 50, 60 years old is small. Now is the time to get in and start your YouTube channel and share, 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 share your wealth of information because us as humans, us as a people who want to connect, we need it. Thank you guys. Please subscribe, like my video, um, make sure you hit the notification bell so you can receive more videos like this. And I look forward to seeing you guys again. Thank you so much. Have a good one.